on my jam. So I'm going to be backing up for in back on that solar energy, or fossil fuels should be phased out and solar energy should be brought in more. Um, fossil fuels are bad for the environment. Nitrogen ice oxide is created when you burn fossil fuels. These nitrogen oxides cause both nutrient pollution and air pollution. Nitrogen oxide is the soil. Is the soil is essential. In the soil is essential to plant growth. It is not a natural compound in the atmosphere. In the atmosphere, it reacts in complex, in complex ways, which creates, creates ozone, which is the most damaging part of smog. The nitrous oxides are the com also are converted into nit nitrate fertilizer compounds when they enter into soil. Excess pollution harms the environment, especially in big cities, where there are more cars, trucks, trains, and power, and power stations now only give up more pollution when it gets carried from destination to destination. The nutrient pollution affects all water life as well. So, talking about nutrient pollution, according to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, a federal foundation created by human health, created to protect human and health environment, nutrient pollution, pollution is one of the world's most widespread and costly and challenging environmental problems. And it is caused by excess, excess nitrogen and phosphates. Um, in the air and in the water. With all of these extra smog emissions in the air, it, it really strains on the environment as well. When humans create the nitrous, the nitrous oxide in the air, it can damage many rivers, rivers, streams, lakes, bays, and coastal front waterfronts, basically any body of water that it gets to, resulting in serious environmental and human health issues. If there is too much nitrogen oxide present in the water, the excess algae or it causes excess algae bloom, and that may cause the fish and other aquatic life to lack oxygen in the sense that they would basically just die because they'd be losing oxygen, and it will cause all life in the water, including shellfish and fish, to die off, which is bad because shellfish help, helps the water sources. Um, also talk about air pollution. Um, good ground level or, or bad ozone is not emitted directly into the air, but it is created by chemical reactions between both oxy oxides of, of nitrogen and the valid the validate organic compounds in the present of in the presence of sunlight. The emissions from the industrial facilities and electrical utilities, motor vehicles, exhaust, gasoline, vapors, and chemical solvents are also, are also major sources of nitrogen oxide <coughs> and voxid organic compounds. Breathing ozone can trigger a variety of health problems. <coughs> Uh, particularly for children, when they or children, the elderly, or anyone really in the breathing in this air of all ages who have can cause the lung disease, cause asthma, or worsen if you already have it. Ground level ozone can also or can also have harmful effects and sense and sensitive to vegetation and the ecosystem. If nitrogen if nitrous oxide gets into the groundwater, which is the water that us humans use as drinking water, it can be very harmful to us. Or it can be harmful to us or anyone who consumes it. Nitrogen oxide and the ozone it generates can cause many problems. There are there are the pollutions that cause respiratory damage. Ozone, as an air pollutant, damages your lung tissue. In addition to nitrous oxide, in vehicles passing passing to the catalytic converter, creates an ammonia, no, ammonia um, which can impair our visibility and basically burn our tissue in our lungs as well, which is going to add to more of your health problems because of the nitrous oxide in the air and the, the ozone going through. Ozone, as an air pollution, damages your lung tissue. Um, collect, collective cars, collectively, cars and trucks account for nearly one-fifth of all the U.S. emissions, emitting around 25, 24 pounds of carbon dioxide and other global warming gases in every gallon of gas. Um, says the EPA. All drivers produce nitrogen oxides, carbon monoxide, and other pollutions that cause more smog in the air. The Union of Concerned Scientists have said that the health risks of the air pollution are extremely serious, or air quality can increase respiratory alignments like asthma and bronchi bronchitis that I recently stated. Um, heighten the risk of life-threatening conditions like, and it can also heighten the life-threatening conditions like cancer. Particulate matter is single-handedly responsible for up to 30,000 premature deaths each year, also stated by the concerned scientists. 
Um, the status quo encourages the use of fossil fuels. Fossil fuels infrastructure are, are infrastructure are already in place. So there have been about a hundred years of investment in infrastructure, infrastructure to find to find process to distribute and use fossil fuels throughout the United States. There are many big cities where there are millions of drivers producing smog from their cars, and even outside of the big cities, there are trucks who drive from different states delivering packages, creating smog from bringing it from one direction to another. And what are they powered by? Yep, you guessed it, fossil fuels. Uh, due to the fact that there are many that there are many, that the public transportation is very poor, many people just choose to get in their own car and not bundle up more people on one on one bus. Um, because methods aren't as, methods of public transportation aren't as efficient as just hopping in your car and getting on the freeway. In 2013, transportation con contributed more than half of the carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxide, and almost a quarter of the car of the hydrocarbon carbons emitted into our air. We need to reproduce our dependency on fossil fuels, and fossil fuels because of pollution. We are now getting we are now getting mature technologies to replace these fossil fuels. Um, phasing out into phasing in alternative alternatives to fossil fuels. You have electrical cars. Having the luxury to hop into your car and take you from point A to point B is highly understandable. But why does it have to be so damaging to the place that we live in? But we now have the technology to build. So we now have the technology which is built in plug-in cars. Um, of all electricity. The way that people can get from point A to B will be the same and just be, pr just be producing less smog. These are vehicles generated less air pollution because it is done in an efficient, efficient electrical generation set um, instead of its own inefficient fossil fuel engine. Every fossil fuel vehicle replaced by an electric vehicle will result in better air, or less air pollution, giving you guys better air to breathe. Therefore, the transition of electrical vehicles You're out of time. Oh. <laughs>